Howdy everybody, this is Pro Rodeo announcer Garrett Jurgen. When I'm not on the road talking about rodeos, I'm making sure everything's safe at them and I also serve as a professional groundskeeper. And this morning we're going to have a complete walkthrough on the new model courtesy of Red Master Heroes. It calls it the T-Rex and it is the ultimate ground tool for any speed event such as rodeo, barrel racing, or anything for that matter where you need the perfect footing at one easy pass. We're going to start up here at the front. This is an 8 foot unit with the optional hydraulic rippers. They come in manual rippers as well. And same basic principle, just one is operated by hydraulics from your tractor. The other you have to get off the tractor and manually adjust pins. We're going to start up here and it has the 8 chisel point plows. All of which have the reversible heads on them. So you get double the lifespan. We'll clean a little dirt off here and so you can see it a little bit better. I have, uh, on this particular unit, already flipped the heads over so that other side's a little dull, but you can kind of see the uh, chisel point plow on there so you can definitely get a nice bite into the ground and not create that slick hard pan underneath. Controlled by two hydraulic cylinders, one on each side, and they obviously come to joint there, and hydraulics run off the tractor. We'll go back behind here. Hey, pretty unique feature about this particular tool is the fact that the ripper body does come off for deep rips during preparation or after the conclusion of an event if you really want to get in there and bust things up you can uh, drop off one pin two pins and three pins and have the ability of just operating the ripper body by itself which I forgot to mention this but the top link for that goes in right there in that pin of course all Redmaster Hero units do run off wheels, so there's no need to worry about depth setting as far as your three-point levers. So all the time you're running, your three-point levers do drop all the way to the bottom, and don't have to worry about uh, hitting high spots or low spots or anything such there as. The wheels are controlled with a three-hole process. You can see I've got mine the lowest hole right now. Factory settings is the middle hole but uh, due to some ground conditions I've been getting into here in the past couple weeks I've dropped mine down a hole to uh, give a little extra height and clearance on my uh, body of the harrow. As we go back a little farther we go into the two rows of S tines controlled right there by a top link bar and usually during travel uh, as far as like loading on a trailer off the trailer I will pull it all the way forward get those tines up off the ground as much as possible so they don't dig into my trailer uh, S tines have the same hardened face tips as the ripper shanks we saw a minute ago also have the double head tips on them which I've also flipped over on this particular unit and you can kinda see in there a little bit there a little dirty as I've been using this one but uh, Still, you get the double double face tips, so even those do a little bit of breaking and busting as they roll through as well. They create a nice fluffy finish there as it goes back into the paddle roller. As we move back into the paddle roller, you have, uh, of course, the bearings on each end, and the paddle wheel roller will bust up the clods very well, as I've used this on many different ground types and never had any problem with busting up clods there. Cleans itself pretty well uh, with the throwing motion. When you get into some stickier ground, some wetter ground, it will try to clog up a little bit, but uh, if you just take a regular paint scraper or, or concrete scraper or anything like that that uh, you may have around a house or even a garden hoe or something along those lines, uh, you can easily just run it through there. All of them line up pretty simple for you so you can just run it through those holes and get it nice and cleaned out. It does float on the ground. Uh, pressure is controlled by either extending or pulling in your top link up there which uh, there is an available option for the purchase of one of these that we'll talk about here in just a minute in the options. As we move back into the float pan this is another unique feature for the Redmaster Harrells. Uh, the uh, scientific reasoning behind this is after your paddle roller creates divots in the ground, your paddle roll or your float pan, excuse me, will be pulling along dirt as it moves, and it will roll that dirt over on top of those divots, locking air in the ground and creating a nice cush for your horse. 
And uh, for those of you who may be wondering what that term exactly means, it's kind of like air ride for your horse as you're working on your ground. So uh, very, very horse friendly as far as cushioning and feet protection. Back here, you see this little pin right here in this hitch. Uh, Red Master Harrow also sells an available water roller, and that is a concrete roller that is hollow until you fill it up with water, depending on your desired weight, to uh, pack down arenas that you may be knowing that rain's coming or have a uh, event that you need to pack the ground on. You can hook that up right there. Also, I've used it to uh, hook up other implements and pulling sleds and such things that need to be done at a moment's notice. Uh, very multi-purpose hitch right there. Available options on the T-Rex. If you have ground type that uh, really likes to stay loose and doesn't like to pack, uh, where this one has the powder roller, you can also insert another float pan for a little double packing. Uh, and also if you have the opposite problem, if you have one that likes to pack too much, you can insert a, a second powder roller for a little extra fluff. Up here on the front, we kind of talked about that option already, uh, where this one has the hydraulic rippers, you can insert manual rippers. I would show that one in this video, but uh, just sold it yesterday. So, we will just take a look at this little beauty. As far as top lengths go, uh, it always, of course, will work with a standard top link. I personally run hydraulic cylinders for top lengths, and we also sell those as well. Very, very handy as far as the need when to adjust pressure on the back end of your tool. And sure beats having to get out and crank on that. So I, I always run uh, hydraulic top links when I use these Redmaster Harrows. When you buy a Redmaster Harrow, it does come with all the pins necessary. So you don't have to worry about running to your local farm and ranch or parts store to get all the pins you need. It will come standard with all pins available. And that is the all-new Redmaster Harrow T-Rex. For any questions, you can contact Redmaster Harrow at redmasterharrow.com. And thank you all so very much for watching.